Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back, welcome back to KPS. Alright, so uh, today, uh, like I said in the last episode, I was going to go and do some uh, tourist missions and uh, gather some cash and as you can see we got a little over 4k, 400,000, sorry. So our first goal is we want to upgrade this thing here so that way we can use more parts, okay, so that's very, very important, so that way we can use uh, bigger ships, right, and get out here and do better and bigger things. Um, what was it to upgrade this thing? 150? Hmm, that'd leave me 50 grand. It's very, very, very tempting. I'll, I'll might do that uh, next time. But, I'll show you these missions that ended up popping up. These, uh, tourists, four tourists. Check this out, man. You got like 16,000 per, per Kerbal. So, you know, you're, you're making up like, uh, that's, uh, 32, uh, 64,000 roughly, you know, plus, uh, plus bacon on one of these there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, since we upgraded this, we're going to go and grab our, uh, orbit, uh, the planet because that's what we really want to do. Now, <clears throat> Be warned though, if you want to like keep milking the money at this point and doing these uh, tourist things, uh, don't don't complete this one. Don't don't complete the the orbit because uh, they're gonna actually want you to orbit the next time, and that's gonna have to be your your f tourists. Uh, you're gonna have to build something that's gonna like orbit the planet if you want to like do money milking things, right? So if you want to milk money and uh, make tons and tons of cash and upgrade all kinds of crap here like really early game I'm going to have to say tourists are the way to go so um, yeah so we've upgraded that uh, we do have some science uh, I've accumulated during that time by doing these missions um, these ones are all like 90 so we can't get these ones yet uh, flight control yeah, I've been kind of avoiding this right here because I'm not really good at the whole pilot thing on this game. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to expand my wings at one point or another and and do it, right? Uh, what is this? Uh, two little green Kerbal-like peas in a pod. The engineering an extra Kerbal in the same space. Oh, so you can get two of them in here. Oh, that's kind of neat. So let's grab that for for fun, right? So, uh, let's check that out. I gotta see it. Okay, uh, oh, what KV1. There go, when the finance department cried, that's your lot. So, is that one? Okay, that's a one capacity and this is a two capacity. So, what's the difference? Like, I want to see what's the, the look-alike difference. Okay. Okay, well, not much. Not much. They don't seem that much bigger. Smaller, bigger. Oh, it's twice the size, technically. Twice the weight, because you look at the weight. Huh. Alright, well, let's try the two Kerbals. We'll try to bring up two people now and start doing different things, because I, I wonder if they can get out from here. If there's, like, a pod that they can get out. Hmm. Alrighty, so this is what I came up with. Uh, nice little design, hopefully. <laughs> so I uh, got uh, two Kerbals in here. Uh, we got uh, Jebediah and uh, Bob, Bob's a scientist. So uh, let's see if we can put this thing up into space and maybe do some EVAs, get around, pick up some more science and stuff like that there, see how that works out. Um, so yeah, here we go, man. Let's try it. Uh, ZT, off we go. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. I want to kind of pre-lean forward first a little bit. <laughs> I want to start trying to get that arc. Uh, I think that's going to be good, yeah. We'll leave it like that. Hopefully, hopefully this works out to plan really good here. These uh, these two engines right here, they're they're really trying to keep us straight. See how their arc is up against the other ones. All right, whoa, nice, nice separation, nice separation. Wonder if I could have put a drogue chute on them and they could have like you know. I wonder, I wonder. I'd have to test those out. Maybe we can save those. Uh, 
15,000. Still looking pretty good. This Apoapsis still coming up there pretty nice. Uh, Apoapsis and the other one's the Periaps, I think. This one's the fastest point of your 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 orbit and the periaps is the slowest point of your orbit I think. I think that's what it is. Oh we done with those? Nice. Um Okay, what's this at now? Okay, well we'll stop there. Uh, hundred and hundred and thirty thirty kilometers above. I think we should be good, right? Ooh. This thing's sluggish. Very sluggish. That's fine, that's fine. So uh we got a little bit of time here to uh to readjust our uh our stuff here. We actually might have a crap ton of fuel left. This would be completely awesome if that was the case. Um so what you wanna try to do is you wanna try to get yourself flat here. Okay, and then whether this is 100% correct or not, like uh, I'm just trying to get a orbit. Um, we left in a very odd, uh, odd orbit to begin with, um, because of the, the angle I left in. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna get close to your your apoapsis here, and later on we're gonna be able to set up uh, markers and we're gonna be able to set up moves and we'll be able to set up proper burns. So like. Right now we're just kind of like eyeballing it and kind of hoping that we're we're gonna do it right. So that's kind of like the goal with this. Uh, so I think I'm gonna maybe start burning there now. Uh, yeah, let's try to start burning now. We'll uh, put this at full speed. We're flat, right? So you see how it's starting to uncurve and uh, we're starting to stretch out. Well, eventually that point is going to wrap around and we're going to fall around the earth. So that's kind of how orbiting works, right? Is you're, you're kind of falling around, but you're falling faster than it can turn. Very strange physics, I'm telling you. Cool, but strange. I noticed too that there was different launch sites. And I'm wondering how you acquire these different launch sites or how you get to them. Um, I'm gonna have to investigate that and find out because that could be very useful if you're doing different um, are you trying to get a hold of different planets and stuff like that maybe that's like kind of a thing I'm not 100% sure, gotta watch out my fuel here and there we go Alright, so this is like a little more fuel efficient thing, so this should uh, really, really, really help uh, with the whole with the whole getting around there, because this should last a lot longer. We can actually watch that fuel kind of go down here. It's not bad, not bad, but we should be able to orbit with this. We should. That's my goal. <laughs> but uh, that would be great. As long as we kind of keep seeing this number slightly slowly going up, I want to kind of stay below the the line here because I don't really want it to go up. I want my distance to go, and then that way I mean, we're starting there. We're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Starting to orbit this there slowly and steadily. See, even even a burnout like me can can get into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> with lots of fuel to spare too so that was pretty good so we're gonna get ready to slow down so as soon as that matches or actually at 70 you can stop it technically really because look now we're we're technically in orbit we've su successfully achieved our goal of orbit we could like you know change our peri app so say if we wanted to like make these two more even I could get around on this side and I could slow down and I can lower this side here and uh, we can get more of an even an even thing so I kinda got like a a polar orbit thing going on here so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of advantage of that 
And uh, let's take a look at our science and see what we can do. Can we, like, uh, EVA? Oh, we can, too. Um, that's a very odd spot to do that, though, right? Eh? EVA report. Uh, it's on the highlands. Can't do nothing here on the highlands. But uh, we can get back in. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I'm really liking that. So uh, we can conduct a material study. So we could keep all that science, right? Uh, close. Now, can the scientists go out there and get that that stuff? Uh, how do you use your rockets again? Uh oh, I could be screwed here. There is a button for this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I K shift. Oh no. I forgot how to put the, the space packs on. Do they have one? I'm sure they do. They have to. Yeah, it's right there. But how do you get them to put it back on? Uh, got EVA propellant. Oh, there we go. It's R. Okay. There we go. There we go. Totally forgot that for a second. There, so we can go up. Uh, which way is up? I think shift is up. Yes, shift is up. Eh, it takes a little while to get used to this. Uh, Q is down. Or, sorry, uh, control. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. So we're just getting used to this. <laughs> Alright, so can he collect the data? Removing experiment will render this module unoperable. Restoring function will require scientist. Well, isn't that who I'm using? Remove data. Okay, and then we go here. Restore. Restore me to control. Alright, so that's cool. Now, let's uh, uh, grab and let's get in there. That's really neat. Okay, so if I wanted to do another study somewhere, then we can use those and that would be wicked. Oh, nice. So we can do a material goo here. I know it's only point 0.1, but it doesn't matter. Log some of that. No. Test this out. No. Okay, well, we got into orbit, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, oops, wrong button. I did not want to do that because uh, that can really change in orbit. <laughs> uh, that's not too bad. Didn't really do much. Okay, so let's uh, go back into here. Uh, do I have to do a recruit report? No, nothing's good there. Okay, so. I'm really happy that that worked and everything went good here. So we can just try to get back on Earth now. Um, oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's just try to land again. So we can just fast forward. We'll slow down here. Now we'll get to the other point. This one is to bring your oh, here we'll put the SAS back on there this one is to uh, slowly bring down your point here so you see this is going to shrink now oh I'm just going to use up uh, a bunch of fuel you know I probably could have gone really far with this that's fine 180 something you just slowly keep an eye on it. You can really choose where you want to land afterwards too. So like say if you wanted to land on the southern pole, like you could really fade it up so you can land on the southern pole, right? So like that's below. So by the time you get here, like you can really, really do it up if you want to. So that's pretty low. 
There you go. So that you should be able to land right into the uh, right into the southern pole with, which is a good place. We'll get some science out of that, I guess. So let's go have a look at what's going on here. We'll uh, point our nose in the right direction. We'll try to um, see how much of this we can save. <laughs> well, See if we can slow down enough that uh, when we get into the atmosphere, we can get a good place to land. Because <clears throat> definitely, definitely, definitely we're going into the snow biome, right? That's what we had uh, predicted up here. Going full speed now. There, I'll, uh, well, I can keep the time going forward a little bit. It's not messing around with us too much here. We're coming in like a rocket right now. I just want to make sure I get above the snow biome before I start activating my rocket. We're coming in there pretty hot. But we're slowing down, though. It's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be slowing down. Well, we are overheating, so I'll uh, put that on. Burn out some fuel. That'll really help slow us down. And then uh, maybe I can slow us down enough that I can activate the parachutes. That would be hilarious. That would be completely hilarious. But I doubt it's going to be enough to... Those two parachutes will be... Wah. It's a lot of weight. Unless I use some fuel to uh, help land that afterwards. Okay, so... What if I just go like this? And I go deploy shoot. Deploy shoot. Oh, there's another one. I missed it. Uh, deploy shoot. There we go. So, you can manually do things. You don't have to use your stages with your spacebar. That's all cool, too. I could have set up a group, too, so I could have had, like, punched out on the key as an action group. But, uh, this is good. This is good. Things are going pretty good so far. Uh, we'll speed up time a little bit there. We'll see, uh, once the speed happens after the shoot's open. Uh, oh, are these chutes going to open? That looks pretty fast. Okay, the chutes opened. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Five meters per second with all that on me. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, I'm actually pretty impressed. Now when we land, I'll be able to do a science, some, uh, some science experiments from here. Uh, can we do in, uh, an EVA? No. Unavailable. Not on this craft. They don't allow that. There's really maybe nowhere to really grab on. I can understand. <clears throat> well, we're coming to, uh, coming to the ground here. We're approaching. Only got 50 meters to go. We'll see what we can stick this landing. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. What a landing. Let's conduct another experiment. We'll keep that. We'll uh, do a crew report. That's awesome. Can we do an EVA? Awesome stuff. There we go. Perfect. Now we can get your bum back in there because it's cold. And let's see if we can do a... Uh, here we go, perfect. Let's log some data. Let's uh, log some temperatures. And I think that's about all I can do here for now. Oh, um, sorry, wrong button. So let's recover our vessel and see how we did. Yeah! <laughs> and we got our vehicle into space. That's so awesome. We orbited. Orbited. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to 99 science. That's awesome. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We made a bunch of cash. All that good stuff. Um, 
Got some orbital debris here. Oh yeah. Maybe that stuff that uh, blew up and could have caused some damage here. So 150. Is there any damage? No, no 50. So we were able to upgrade this. So that's a good thing. Uh, we got a better tracking station now. So now we can maybe uh, program some things. Um, what else we got here? Uh, oops. Uh, that's a space hanger. Uh, I never really come in here. Um, that's the one thing I gotta start working on is uh, getting better at the space hangar and all that good stuff. So our launch pad is good. So the next time I think we're gonna um, maybe try to get to the moon. Or no, the moon's a little bit complicated actually. It's easier to go to, for the first time I think I'm gonna show you this. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we got the solar system. I've never shown you guys this yet. So we got um, Earth obviously, then we got the moon, and they got Minmus. Minmus is actually easier to get to than the moon, and we can harvest a butt ton of science from Minmus. Then we come farther out, and we have the rest of our solar system. So uh, then we'd be going to Duna after we do Minmus and Mun. And then I think the ones that you need to go to afterwards are like this. Then you can go to Joel. And then maybe you come into your inner planets afterwards. And then you start hitting your, your last outer planet. So yeah, like there's, they're also little, um, they also have moons, each one of these two. So like, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of things to go through and to check out. So, like, uh, there's all kinds of really cool stuff to look at. So, um, yeah, there's, there's that. <laughs> so, uh, we have that to look forward to. So, in the next episode, I think we're going to start planning, um, maybe to get to, uh, no, I think I know what we're going to start planning on. I think we're going to start making satellites. And we're going to start making up a communication array because I think that's what we have to do next that's the most important thing and then once we build up a proper communication array well we'll be able to send data from different parts of the world back home and uh, we'll do a lot of science so yeah I think that's the plan all right everybody I hope you enjoyed the video so please thumbs up the video subscribe and we'll see you next time